the first sketch may be great and you love it, but you, you got to move on from that. Because if you fall in love with the first one, you never get to the second one. And that's kind of how it is with car design. We get a basic package from engineering, you know, where the people sit and, you know, the overall length and the width of the you know, car. And then we do sketches like this. The first thing, designers have to get those ideas on a piece of paper into a clay model and then into digital data. And once it's in that digital data, you can share it with the discipline seamlessly. So you've got this idea that you love, you've got an acclaimed model, but now you have to take it through production. And then, so the engineers come in and start telling you, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's like your child a little bit, it's like your baby. So of course you're always a little bit nervous when you put your work in front of everybody. And you agonize over it, you fight with them, you know, tooth and nail for every millimeter to keep that concept the way it is. I remember reviews where, uh, a, a number of times where they said, well, if that's the best that the studio can do, let's just cancel the program now. We can't make mistakes. I think this is a really tough business now. You definitely sweat a little bit before review day. Can we start with a before picture of me with all, what I had a fro, and then the after photograph where I have no more hair? No, but really. Millions of dollars are spent to make sure that we get something people are gonna buy. Everything needs to be designed within cost. We eat, live, and breathe design. First time I saw the road, I was uh, driving behind it. <laughs> there was one coming the opposite way, and I couldn't believe uh, that someone, how could they have that? That's not supposed to be out right now. I mean, that's, that's a studio property. I actually got it to drive it back home to show my son. And I'm like, and he's only four. And I was like, this is, the, this is the car your daddy designed. Just to see the emotional reaction that people get when they see the car driving down the road. I mean, yeah, that's, I think, why we all got into the business, right? Being able to draw, I mean, you know, that's what you did as a little kid, you know? Some days I'm sketching, some days I'm dealing with the other disciplines, so no day is the same. I never stop learning. There's always that ability to learn something new and another new design language or design style. We get to draw, we get to play with clay. I get to play with clay. <laughs> we get to work with an amazing team. The designs we've got now are better than what's on the road. We got some really killer stuff coming. The culture at Ford has allowed design to step the game up. We're a part of something quite special, but we can create a new Ford design language that can sell globally that people have a passion for.